Hello Gemini, I'm Susie from The Gift Hood here and I'm here to read your cards for the week of the 25th of October. So, angels, spirit guides, what would you like Gemini to know for the week of the 25th of October, the week of the 25th of October? Angels, spirit guides, universe for the week of the 25th of October, the week of the 25th of October. Angels, spirit guides for Gemini, 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 Gemini for the week. Gemini for the week of the 25th of October, please, for Gemini. Week of the 25th of October for Gemini. Gemini, Gemini for the week of the 25th of October. 25th of October for Gemini, please. Angels, Spirit, Universe, the 25th of October. The week of the 25th of October. They're coming out reverse, Gemini. What's going on? Angels, Spirit Guides. Gemini, what would you like Gemini to know about the week of the 25th of October? The 25th of October, the week of the 25th of October for Gemini, please. Angels, spirit guide you. Angels, spirit guide you. Oh, that one came out nicely. Angels, spirit guide universe. Okay, Gemini, it's one of those where you're going to have to wait to the end of the week. <laughs> You've got the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. So, uh, Four of Cups, Three of Cups. It's kind of like... You may have been... This is talking, gossiping. So there's people talking about someone. What these women are talking about is, is whether a guy is good enough for one of these girls, okay? So you might be just talking to your friends, asking them what to do. It's a group of women or a group of mates at a coffee shop. Um, and you might be asking them, what should you do? It's, this, this thing is in the wide awake, he's under a tree. He's a bit bored and he doesn't know what to do with himself. Um, so there might be a date or you've just been on a date, okay? Or there's a, there's a group of women, a hen do, some kind of celebration and maybe you don't want to do it or you're going to it's like you feel a bit left out in the cold by this group of people or this it could be a third party with the three of cups but it's kind of a marriage maybe you feel left out of this celebration okay maybe you don't you're, you're paying off peter to pay paul you can't really afford to go out um and you need to get back in touch with your spirituality uh, by not going to this, by being left out of this um, celebration or group of people, you might uh, realise it, it sort of cancels out the skullduggery, right? The the lies, the cheating. Okay, so it's, no, it's like the swords are coming out by not being within this group of people and being left out in the cold you don't worry anymore that someone's cheating you don't care really you don't get uh, a step up the ladder or a promotion it seems to be there's a bit of money worries here um and you can't it could be that it was a group of people at work you worked with as well it's like you can't get up um that rung of the ladder it's like you'd lose money by being left out in the cold or you've lost money in this group of people through this marriage or um and this hermit upside down so he's not representing so you don't have enough knowledge he's a knowledgeable person he's an older person he follows the light at the end of the tunnels to where his his plan is uh, it's almost like you've given up on the plan okay and you don't want to be on your own all right so it's, it's not a hermited in you're coming out you, you, but you, you're not really quite sure what the plan is yet uh, because the foundation or the contract seems broken here and it could be that this queen of wands gemini it's just that it's like there's a cancellation of a party there's a can under cancellation of a contract for work so that makes this queen of wands in the love area she doesn't feel passionate um it's just that there's something, when I see any ones upside down, I feel that because they're, they're sexy and they're very hot and they're passionate, when they're upside down, they can't be creative, they can't be passionate, they're a bit, they're not feeling, it, they don't feel sexy, okay? Maybe they've put on weight or they've just, 
it, it's not that they're having an affair, it's just that they don't feel themselves, if you like. They're not loving themselves enough or to feel sexy. <sighs> So there could be a break of a contract. There could be a, a loss of a job. But by this Queen of Wands not feeling it, there's some kind of Nine of Cups coming. How this jumps from this to this, I don't know. But look, and the Six of Pentacles. So... This could be a blessing in disguise, okay? So this contract being broken and this person not feeling sexy brings about absolute union. Maybe that they, they lose their job, you lose your job, um, and you start bonding on another level with this person. Um, and it's kind of vulnerable. And you get this wish come true. And the Six of Pentacles is someone absolutely reciprocating, giving you the money you need, giving you the help you need, um, being charitable towards you. And they're, they're reciprocating this love and they're reciprocating money. Maybe you lose your job and this partner comes in and says, look, I'm going to travel with you or I'm going to give up my work too or let's just go do what we always wanted to do, which is get married or, you know, live in a, in a cabin or something. It's just really, really nice. Someone wants to help you out. It's a wish come true. This, so this break of this contract is a wish come true, okay? This getting out of this plan or not knowing where you're going is, is or the foundation, there's no celebration or there's no foundation to this, is, is going to turn out in your best possible favour. I told you the Wheel of Fortune's on the bottom. Let's ask the... Um, Angel cards, what would you like Gemini to know for the week of October the 25th, the Gemini? Gemini. It's too many, too many. <laughs> I can't take those, I'm sorry, you're just getting more confused. Um, Gemini, 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 what would Gemini like to do? Angel, spirit, what would you like to tell Gemini for the romance of their life in the week of October the 25th? Angel, spirit guides. Universe, what would you like to tell Gemini, Gemini, Gemini? Okay, we've got very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Angel, spirit guide, universe for Gemini. Love getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Yes, this is a deeper... This is a wished for love, angel, spirit guide. It's not only a wished for love, it's a reciprocal giving, which is really nice. And we've got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic interests. That's lovely, Gemini. Let me ask the angels what they'd like you to know. So, yeah, it seems like you're going to go out and this, ask these friends what you should do. Maybe go on a celebration. Maybe feel left out in a cold when you, you listen to them, you know. Or, or it's this group of people that are gossiping that you're with someone that's married or, you know. And, and once you get out of it, it was feeling left out in the cold. The reason you can't afford to go is because it's you're skipping all this cheating and lying. And, okay, so it's not a rung up the ladder. Okay, you, but you're not on your own. Um, it's just that you can't follow the plan. Uh, the foundation or this celebration at the home or a contract might be broken it could be because of a queen of wands isn't feeling it or she's not well or she's just not it's like it's like someone it's, it's i said the same for aries it's like there's a it's like fated the wheel of fortune this is fated that's all i'm going to tell you gemini 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 what would you like gemini to know angels spirit guides for the 25th the week of the 25th of october for gemini please week of the 25th of october for gemini what would you like gemini to know for the week that's okay we've got four cards the first one is time out you've been busy taking care of everyone else's needs but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself yes the benefit of not going to this job or not following this plan not having this party or foundation is a wish come true. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. 
As you honour and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you. Nine of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Joy. Joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy brings, that's the wish come true card, it's the yes card. Joy brings, springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible levels. So really raise your vibration, just dance. Lose a job, dance. If, if someone says something horrible to you or you get out of a relationship, Put the music on, dance. What can you do? Change in direction. The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to happy outcomes you desire, that you desire. See? Could be a pregnancy as well. Well, not really, but if there's, you could be quite fertile with this nine, nine month card as well. So, um, Hope I've helped you, Gemini. It's a great reading. Uh, don't feel lack at the beginning of the week. Just know that it moves to a better, more wished for newness in your life. So, Gemini, thanks for listening. Please like, share and subscribe and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.